two foot footwork. We're gonna do right now four minutes of jump roping, okay? With about eight to 10 different uh, intervals. Be ready, two foot, go. Quick feet. Tell you what, this is what it's like when you go to college. The coach doesn't bring the balls out for their first few days of practice. Okay? For all my people that's been in college or play pro ball, you already know. Okay, sometimes you go to practice and where coach doesn't bring the balls out at all. So what do you do? You get better. That's what we're gonna do here today. Okay, three, two, one. Right now, let's go running. We're running, we're running, we're running. Running, 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 running. Yeah. Because Mindy and them weren't, uh, didn't make it. It all works out when it's supposed to work out, right? Come on, 10 more seconds right now. Okay, you guys are going into side to side. Three, two, one. We're side to side. You should be on the balls of your feet. Okay, just be able to put a credit card under your feet. Just quick jumps, popping off the toes, no heels at all. Let's go. Why not? Why not? Let's go. Come on. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Let's go, Brady. Come on. Keep going, man. Keep going. This is where you're challenging yourself, buddy. Five seconds. You're transitioning now. We're going to go into front to back. Front to back. Stay on your toes. Front to back. This, I believe, is the number one conditioning drill you could be doing on your own at home because it also gets your footwork and rhythm right. Okay, this is something that boxers, MMA fighters use. Those are some of the guys in the best, or girls, best shape of their, uh, in the world. 10 seconds left, 10 seconds. Okay, we're going left foot, left foot, left foot. There we go, push it, push it. You should be talking to yourself Okay, we're switching, right foot, right foot, right foot, right foot. Stay on your toes. You might start noticing right now that maybe your left foot or right foot's better than the other. Work on balancing them out, okay? We talk about being ambidextrous with our hands. Let's get that dexterity with our feet as well. About 10 more seconds. Jump rope, something you should be doing every day. Three, two, one, we're going just two foot, two foot, two foot, two foot. Back to two foot. You should be able to be a little quicker in this one right now. Your rhythm should be going. Quick, quick, quick. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. We're coming down to the finish line. Come on, push through. Come on, you got the David Hasselhoff here, dude. Come on. Three, double unders, double unders, double unders. If you wanna get real funky fresh with it, you can cross the rope with the double unders. For some of you, if you want a very good jump roping video, there's a Floyd Mayweather jump roping video on YouTube. You can see that type of footwork and ability to cross the rope. 10 seconds, come on. You should be going as fast as you can go right now, as fast as you can go, as fast as you can go. Time, we're resting. Throw that jump rope to the side, throw it to the side. Shake those legs out. If your tennis shoes came unlaced while you're jumping, tie them back up right now really tight and double tie so they don't come untied again, okay? All right, now we're gonna build your foundation as a defender. We're going into our stance and hand placement. We have four hand placements out of our stance, okay? And one key thing is we believe the ball score is going up so that we always want to keep our hands above the ball at all times, okay? Both, if can, one at least right now, okay? So we're going to go into Rio de Janeiro Jesus. That's our help defensive position, and we know in help that we should be talking, okay? Right, ready, go. 
I got ball, I got ball, I got ball. I got help left, help left, help left, help left. There we go. Get your hands off, Brady. Come on. Come on, man. You're looking like Edward, Brady. You're looking like a like a vampire right now, Brady. Come on. Hands up, hands up. Get some hands no, up. No, no, Come on. No baseline. No baseline. Sit, sit. No baseline. Come on. No baseline. No baseline. No baseline. Help left. Help this is a time for you to really challenge the ability to get down in a 90 degree angle with your stance. Most people never experience what that's like. Work on doing that right now. Don't always do the halfway stance where you never challenge yourself. Challenge yourself right now. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Let's up. I got help. I got help. I got help. We got 30 more seconds. We just getting started. This is just the appetizer right here. Let's go, keep going. Hey, little calamari. Yeah, I got arms out. Let's go. 20 seconds. Come on, Brady. You don't want to let those arms whittle down. You want to keep them strong, extended. Yeah, you got to head extendo. Get them hands up. Come on, Brady. They're too soft. There we go. Get them things hooked. Five seconds. Five seconds. Two. Close out hand placement. Stay in your stance. Don't raise up. Stay in your stance. When we switch and transition, do not stand up. For four minutes long, stay down in your stance, 90 degree angle. Come on, keep going. Don't stop. Come on, come on. Get down, Brady. Come on. It's a challenge. Yeah. Don't stop. Don't stop. Come on. We don't got a whole bunch of Patrick Beverly's in the NBA. You only got one. Don't stop. Everybody, everybody wants to shoot threes. Even if they they're bad at shooting threes. This is where you get it done. Yeah, I got help left. I got help left. Five seconds. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 35 seconds. Come on. I'm going to get you, Brady. My bad, Brady. I know you felt that one. 30 seconds. Don't stop. Don't Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, get Stay over the screen. down. Get over the screen. Get over the screen. Let's Come go. on. Keep talking. I got help. I got help. Hand Everybody should help, be right. talking right now. If yeah. you're by Hand yourself, who cares? The, the, the only way you're going to get better at Hand talking is by Let's talking. Go. Come on. Yeah, I got ball. I got ball. Get ball. comfortable being stop. uncomfortable. Don't, don't 10 stop. seconds. Let's go. Yeah. Get screen left. Screen left. I'm glad your mom Keep came on. out Come here. Come on. Let's go. Keep going. Let's go. Five seconds. Come on. I got ball. Left hand up. Right hand out. Left hand up. Come on, Brady. Come on. Come Stay on, down. Go, come on. When we transition, hands do up, not raise up. up. Extend, extend, extend. There's a 32-minute game long. This is a four-minute defensive keep drill. Keep going, you at the bare minimum going to have to guard for 16 minutes. That's 32 on, minutes go. in a high school game. Come we on, got 42 stop, minutes in the college game. Let's say at least low, 20 stay minutes. Stay low, stay low, okay, and if you get low. lucky enough to make it to the EMBA, the NBA, the National Basketball Association, motivating yourself. Sit down. 20 go, seconds. Go, come on. I got help. Make sure you get help. Great come communicators on, stop, are great defenders. Great communicators stop, are great defenders. Work on your communication stop, while you're defending right now. 10 seconds. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Sit don't down, stop. sit down. Your yeah, arm, your hand. Your That's what we're doing a harm placement for. Arm. Five seconds. Keep going, come we're going to switch it. Right hand up, left hand out. Right hand up, left hand out. Stay come down. On, let's go, keep going. Come on, Brady. Come on, man. Come on, you go, live, Brady. Come on. Out. Come on. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. You can't just look like Edward. You gotta be able to defend too. Come on. I got help. I got help. I got help. I got ball. I got ball. No Keep baseline, going. No Keep going. Sit down. Keep going. Get down. Get low. Get low. Keep going. Come on. If you feel your body start to raise up, get yourself back down. Get yeah, to that speed 90 left, degrees. Speed get speed to left. that 90 degrees. Yeah, I got ball. I got ball. I got ball. Keep going. Come on. Don't stop. Keep going. I got screen left. We got screen 35 left. seconds left. Don't stop. Don't stop. Feel the burn. Sit. Keep going. Sit. Drop. 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 Sit. Let's go. Keep going. Come on. There you go. Don't stop. Don't stop. Right now, you guys want to get even lower than you've been the whole time. Get a, Get a little bit lower. Get a little bit lower. Get a little bit lower. Come on, 20 seconds. Don't, Don't go below on, 90. On, Don't go on. below 90. Hands up, hands Get your up. base wider, Tony. 15 seconds. I go ball. I go ball. I go ball. We're almost there, Brady. Your hand placement. Your hand placement. Come on, extend the arm. Extend the fingers. Should be talking. You should be talking. If you weren't talking this whole four minutes, you lost. Three, two, one. Time. Like I said. If you weren't talking during that four minutes and you think just because you were in the stance and your hands were up, you didn't get the whole message. The communication is what happens right here. You're able to help everybody on the floor, not just about yourself. I can help move four other players around the floor with my voice. Your voice controls the game. Your voice is very powerful. We're going to transition now. We're going from this into slides in the key. These are all foundational drills that we do at Hoop Dreams. Brady, what's the thing again? Okay, we're going right now, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. This is our slides in the key Tabata. Slides in the key Tabata, eight sets, 20 seconds we work, 10 seconds we rest, slow motion. 90 degree angle, big step, little step. Go! I got ball, I got ball, I got ball. There we go. Come on, I can hand your arms, hand your arms. Stay down, stay down, stay down. You gotta step with your lead foot, Brady. Come on, don't teach that bad footwork on live. Come on. Don't teach that bad footwork. 
Teach good footwork. Get your feet wider. Your heels get a little too close together, Tone. Rest, rest. We're going for 20 seconds. We rest for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, slow motion still. Go. And since you're in slow motion, you should be able to stay down in a 90 degree angle the entire time. Don't drag your feet, lift your feet up. You got 10 seconds. Lift your feet up. Sit down, Brady. I know it's getting challenging. Come on. Three, two, one. Same thing again. This is what you want to make sure anything you're doing defensively that you're talking all the time. Okay? Five. We're going a little bit quicker now. About 20 miles per hour. Go. Big step, little step. Don't let your feet touch. Stepping with your lead foot. 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 Ready? Rest. Okay. We're almost halfway there. Almost. And try to make your last set, this new set, better than your last set. Ready? Go. Same speed. Big step, little step. Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Same stance. Keep going. Let your feet get close together, Brady. Concentrate on that right now, Brady. Concentrate on that. Five seconds. Five seconds. Stay down. Rest, rest, shake them out. We are hitting the halfway mark right now. If you're feeling that challenge, this is what this is what it's for. You want to start talking to yourself, the self-talk. Ready, speed it up a little bit more. Go, halfway. You should be about 50% right now, your capacity, 50%. There you go. Get your voice louder. If you can't move as much, Brady, the least you can do is talk. Keep going, let's go, come on. Five seconds. Keep going, don't stop, don't stop. The least you could do is talk, rest. If you feel your body getting weak and you're not moving as quick, the least you could do is talk loud. That could help bring you back up. Ready? Okay, let's go a little quicker. Go. There you go. Big step, big step, big step. There you go. Keep your hands up. Five, four, three, two, rest. Okay, we got about a minute left right now. This is when you want to start talking to yourself. Make sure your form and technique is not getting worse, that it's getting better. Ready, set, go. Let's go. Should be speeding up just a little bit more, about 75% right now. Move it quick, come on, quick, 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 quick. Three, two, one. We got one more set left. This is if you want to go full speed. If you feel like that your full work stance isn't the best, go back to slow motion to perfect your form and technique. Ready? Go. Let's go. Last one. Good form. Make sure you step with your lead foot because you're going quicker. Come on. Slow down. You slow down. You slow down. Come on. I'm talking to you. Slow down. Slow down. Perfect it, Brady. Five, four, three. Two, rest. Okay, if you need to wet your whistle right now, do it. If not, if you can challenge yourself to keep working right now without getting a drink, keep doing that, okay? Think about if you're in the game and you're a starter, somebody that plays nonstop, you're not gonna be able to go get water all the time. So you wanna start training your body to be able to go periods of time like that. But if you gotta get it right now to get hydrated, take a drink, we're gonna move on to what we call closeouts. And I think this is probably one of the most important skills for any player to learn in the game you're gonna close out more than you do anything on the basketball court. So you'll never shoot as much as you close out in the game. So you wanna really work on this. This is something that's very neglected, but we're gonna perfect. So we're gonna go into a closeout and then we're gonna work on transition from a closeout into a slide if that player decides to drive after the pump fake. Okay, so the first few reps go slow motion to get it down, but we're gonna go for 30 seconds, rest 10 seconds, 30 seconds, rest 10 two sets on this side, two sets on that side. Okay, so get yourself an area where you can do some closeouts at. Ready? Go! Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, stop, keep going. Let's go, be louder, be louder, be louder. Uh, there whoa, we go, whoa, yeah. Whoa. Your voice gets there first. 
Hands get their second, feet and body last. Okay, rest, 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 rest. We got 10 seconds rest and we're going back into another set. Your voice is gonna get to that player first. Your hands are gonna get their second, feet and body last. Most players just run out there and don't say anything or get their hands up. Let's make sure we're better. Ready, go. Loud, be louder, be louder, be louder. Get your hands up. Boom, be louder, be louder, get your hands up. Big step, big step, big step, there you go, big step. Big step, your last step should be a really big step. Stay in your stance the whole time. And then who could be the loudest here? We got 10 seconds. Bigger step on the last one. Big step, big step, big step. Don't let your feet get too close together. Three, two, rest, rest, okay? We're gonna walk it over to the other side. We're gonna do the same thing over there. Two sets of 30 seconds with 10 seconds rest in between. You wanna move it? Concentrate on this, you guys. Yeah, we're gonna bring this on over here. Concentrate on this. This is gonna help you become a better defender. You're gonna do this more than you'll ever shoot in the game. Hear what I'm saying. Please hear what I'm saying. Ready. Be louder, you guys. Go. Good job, good job. Yeah, get back over here, Brady. Boom, light jog. Yeah, do it in front. Go in front. Cut it off, big step, and then go in front. Yeah, good job. We got 15 seconds left. Your voice should be louder. Your hands get there second. Get those hands up quicker. Shoot them up quick. Shoot them up quick. Five seconds. Shoot them up quicker, Brady. Time. Now, when we're going into our closeouts, Make sure that you're not, if you're, you're on a court, don't go past a three-point line because you'll be going past a defender, okay? Use, get an arm's length away from that offensive player. So work on that distance so that you're not getting blown by all the time, all right? We're going our last set, best set right now. Get focused, ready, go! Shot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shot. Come on. Whoa. Hey, shoot whoa. your arms up quicker. Shot. Yeah, there you go. Whoa. You want to intimidate that offensive player by, by getting them hands, get those hands up quick. Get them up quick. Let's go, come on Brady, talk to yourself. Come on, man. There you go, big step, big step. Really lift that right foot up. Right foot, boom, boom, boom. Push off that back foot, push off that back foot. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, rest. Okay, shake them out. Rest, rest, okay? We're coming down to the finish line. We're coming down to the finish line right now. Now this is a drill that's near and dear to my heart. Okay, it's something that I, I stole from the NBA and Byron Scott and real training camp is what we call minute drill. Okay, and this is something that if you wanna be a lockdown defender or a full court pressure defender, I think this is something that you should be doing each day. And if you get to a point where you can maybe push it to two minutes or longer, uh, but this is just being a hound and, uh, and guarding people full court, okay? So we're gonna go into minute drill right now and we're gonna do this for a minute. We're gonna do this for a minute. Hence the minute drill for all my valedictorians out there, okay? So right now, here, uh, get, get, a, get a ball right now, Brady. Okay, and Tony, Tony's gonna be guarding right here. And Tony's got a guard for an entire minute. So I, Brady, after you get up there, you gotta jog back up here at the same time he's jogging. Okay, so we're gonna guard, zigzag. We should get at least six turns, okay? Three slides each way, six turns, six turns. Okay, and once you turn six times, then we're gonna jog back here, then close out, shot! And then we're guarding another time, six turns. So you work on turning the offensive player, okay? Being an arm's length away. Remember the, the stance, the hand placement, everything that we've built up to now, you're now putting that into play into a real game, guard full court, okay? Yeah. Okay, so we're guarding for a minute. Ready, go! I got ball, I got ball. Go, 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 There you go, arms linked away, boom. Come on, jog on back, jog back, jog back, jog back. Arms linked away, Tony, you're too close to him. Close out, close out. There you go, arms linked away, boom. Arms linked away, you gotta keep backing up. Keep backing up. There you go. Come on, zigzag. You got, you got sideline to the to the lane line. Tone. I mean, Brady. Let's go. Oh. Come on. 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 Come on.
Arms length away, Tom. Arms length away. Guard, big step, big step. Keep your eyes on the belly button when you're guarding. Keep your eyes on the belly button. Okay? 15 seconds. I know you're starting to die right now. 15 seconds. Talk to yourself, fourth quarter. 10 seconds. Big step, big step, big step, big step, big step. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Shake them out, shake them out. Okay? So that's just a little something to get you warmed up with your defense right there. And then now we're gonna cool you down with our strength and condition. And like I said, this is a staple. We normally do this at halftime in the middle of our workouts, but we're gonna close it right now uh, with our strength and conditioning. Okay, I really hope that this stuff is helping you guys become better defenders because defense impacts the game. Okay, all right, so we're right here, you guys. We're going in abs, okay? We're gonna do abs for a minute, push-ups for a minute, squat thrusters for a minute, okay? And then we're gonna run a 17 for a minute. That's our sprints, okay? So ready, we're in abs. That's wipers, toe touches, crunches, sit-ups, plank, any type of ab exercise for a minute. Ready, go. Let's go, keep going, guys, let's go. Count out loud. You can still work on your voice right now by talking and counting the numbers. Why do you have to sit and be quiet? Okay, we want to talk. Think about, even if you're on the bench, I think if you're talking, that allows the coach to notice who you are. Don't, instead of pouting and thinking of stuff in your head, you could be talking during the game, okay? Hey, get back, Johnny. Hey, come on, Jennifer, get your hands up. There you go, 30 seconds left, come on. See what you can get done in this minute. Push yourself. Don't do the bare minimum. And you can do a combination of any abs, just like Brady and Tony are doing here. You don't gotta just do one. Make sure your eyes stay on the ceiling, chin stays off your chest. Eyes stay up in the air, eyes stay up, chin off your chest. Don't let your chin touch your chest. Eight seconds. Okay, we're gonna transition right here. Four, three, two, push-ups, 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 go. Don't waste too much time, come on, too much time, Brady, come on. Get right into it, okay? Get those arms out wide. You, Tony, you've been doing them push-ups your whole life. Get your arms out wide, okay? 50 seconds left. Yeah, do not let your body go down or your knees touch the ground, okay? Keep your body up. You're right now, instead of just working on your body, you're working on your, your mental toughness, okay? Your ability to withstand not quitting, okay? Keep yourself up. Your mental fortitude or your will is what I call it. 30 seconds left, 30 seconds left, come on. Keep going. Don't quit. Don't quit. Once you quit, it becomes easier after that. 20 seconds. Keep going, let's go. Come on, come on, keep going. We're gonna be transitioning after that into squat thrusters. We got 10 seconds left right now. Come on, five seconds. Three, two, one, squat thrusters. Let's go, we're in the squat thrusters. Squat thrusters, right into it, come on. Them legs been resting for two minutes now, you should be able to get right into it. Make sure your knees don't go over the front part of your foot right now, okay? Keep your shoulders back, chest out, arch your lower back, okay? Watch those knees, make sure you're not going over the front part of your foot. Really control your form, it's not about the speed right now. Form and technique is gonna help you out a lot more. Okay, same thing, get that chest. Make sure your chest is staying forward. It's not going down to the ground. 25 seconds left. You guys are doing a great job, okay? 20 seconds left. You wanna be able to feel good about your workout. No guarantee that when you got done, you got better. That's what this type of workout is. You're gonna get better when you do this every day. Let's go, come on. Come on, five seconds. Three, two, we're going into our 17 now. 17, sprints, you're sprinting. Find a place to sprint, sideline to sideline. Find a place to sprint, come on, figure it out. Get your 17 in, okay? This is the one thing that I know most players, okay, are omitting from their workout. They're getting their shots and everything out, but when do they do the sprints? This is what the game is like, quick burst of speed, and you gotta sprint and then stop, and then go again. So you wanna be able to get good at this. Turn and go. Don't pause. Okay, you want to touch and go. Touch and go and go quick. Touch and go. Touch and go. Out your outside hit. Touch and go. See that? You can jump into it. Touch and go. Touch and go. Touch and go. Lift that uh, top foot up, Tony. 
15 seconds. Lift that top foot up like this, Tony. Watch this. Like this. Kick it out. There we go. Come on now. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Okay? That's what I'm talking about right there. Okay? Great job. That's what I'm talking about. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. Give me some. Come on, Wayne Brady. Give me some. Come on. A way to push through. Okay? Now, you guys, you know we had that little snafu with the film, so we were on, and these guys got a 15-minute workout of what we just did, and we had to turn it twice. So I hope that you guys might as well do what they did and do it twice. Um, but I hope you guys got something out of this. Please continue to follow us on our Instagram and our Twitter, and most importantly, on our YouTube page. Go and subscribe. We will be continuously putting up new content on there. And we really appreciate everybody taking the time, and especially the Salem Hoops Project and Matt Espinoza for setting this up. All right, everybody go and work on your game and get better. Take care.